Hello and welcome back to 16 years and now Kim Free. Well, it's a little bit windy, uh, less windy here, I must admit. But yeah, what a send off from the southeast yesterday was. Um, I've not gone that far, um, to be truly honest. I only went to uh, Buell Water yesterday, which is B E W L, Buell Water. Uh, amazing reservoir, brilliant place to park up there. And today I'm only over at Petworth. So, you know, I'm still only about three hours from home. But I just want to take little steps, you know, see what's going on, see how Berwin Dog is enjoying it. And I think you're, you're enjoying it, Berwin. Yeah? I think he's enjoying it. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll probably get into it. And plus, I haven't got any rush. So, you know, I like staying in areas, just never in the same place, you know, more than one night. Um, for obvious reasons but yeah the scent off from uh, there i thought oh the one thing i've forgotten was my chocolate brownies from jemson's which is a supermarket um Majompney in the wild and uh, on the romney marsh and it's a bit like uh booths uh, that you get up north but i thought oh there's one of them in Wadhurst, and they got a kebab shop there i can get a pizza i can uh, kill two birds with one stone oh, i'm gonna love that and as I've uh, gone into Jemison's, no chocolate brownies though. Anybody want to send me some chocolate brownies from Jemison's? Yeah. No, um, yeah, uh, but they didn't have that. And then I got my pizza. And then as I'm walking back out of Water Wilderness to go back to Robert the car. Um, yeah, armed um, police turned up. There was uh, one police officer with a gun, another one with a, an attack a dog. And they jumped out and they were like, armed oh, police, rah, rah. And I mean, literally, you know, as I'm walking, so that's the police car, they've come in around in this angle, I've got to hear as they've jumped out, so I've had to stand back, they were that close, and I couldn't believe it, and all I could see was a bunch of kids on a park bench, so I don't know what was happening there, and then, well, even to the next bit, I still didn't find out what was going on, was uh, I was getting all nice and toasty and everything in Robert last night, you know, uh, heading towards my lights out, all of a sudden there's big bright lights outside. I was like, ooh, they look like police lights, they do. So like, I've opened the door, see what it was. It was the police. Big spotlights up the back. And they were like, oh, what are you up to? And I said, oh, you know, explain what I'm doing. I'm travelling uh, around. I'm deciding to convert the most inappropriate car into a camper. And they were like, no way. And then they had a look inside. And I was like, whoa, fair enough, man. And then there was one police officer and he kept staring at me. And he kept staring at me and I thought... What's going on here? Hey, what is going on here? And uh, yeah, they carried on chatting. Oh, look, you've been drinking. I said, well, I'm not going anywhere. Look, you see my bed. I'm going to be falling asleep. And they're like, mm, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, you know, I've done it in an estate car and in Wales and Scotland and everywhere else. They've always been okay with it. And they're like, well, you do realise if we catch you out on the road, you're done for. I said, well, yeah, obviously. And then the one cop, and they kept looking at me, he comes home and he goes, I recognise you. Where do I recognise you from? I was like, well, not from around here, I come from the Romney Marsh. He was like, no, no, I definitely recognise you. He was like, the only other policeman I've seen of lately was the one I almost bumped into when they jumped out the car down in Water Wadhurst. And he went, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And I was like, oh, right, so can you tell me what went on down there? He goes, no, nah, mate, can't com comment on an ongoing uh, investigation. I was like, oh, that's just mean, that is. Almost bust me down, getting out the car, and then you can't even tell me what for. And they all had a chuckle. And that was it. They said good night, have a good one, and like fair play, and they disappeared off. So there we go, you know. And uh, for people that always ask, you know, what places can you park up in? You know, Bowen, get down now. Sorry, I forgot. There's a horse trainer when you started walking up the uh, game plane. Excuse me, sorry about that. But yeah, the sort of places that you can park up are like these. And I use an app called um, Park Four Night. You know, park number four and then letter uh, word at uh, night. And it always gives me these little places. And as long as you're not stupid about it and you don't leave rubbish everywhere or anything like that, the locals are usually all right. Unless you go to the new forest, but that's a completely different story for another day. But on that note, here I am at my next stop overnight spot. Just chilling out. Me and Berwin. I know, he's so upset I shouted at him. No. <laughs> yeah, but here I am. And as always, say, take it easy, keep adventuring, and love you, bye.